Hi Cancer, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always check what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. Um, for the month of October, as usual, I have a special sales offer available and for this month, uh, it's inspired in the current Libra season we are on and if you would like to know more details about it just read um, the description box below or if you have more questions email me and if you'd like to donate and support my channel you can also do that by following the PayPal link which is also down below so Cancer, it feels like through October you might be facing some trust issues here. Some of you might have be might be having, I'm sorry, um, difficulties in your work. There might be a tense atmosphere um, nagging some of you or throwing you a little bit out of balance. Some of you might be concerned with work, employment, you might fear um what's coming up in november or december i feel like there's a little bit of fear anxiety uh when it comes to work and finances when it comes to perhaps this again fear concern or even knowledge that things will change ahead for you um meaning that a contract might might end a job might end um something just might um, not be necessarily to your liking and affecting here the quality of your material life. Some of you, you might feel tense um, with money in general, with possessions in general. You might be um, in October having a hard time letting go of what you consider to be again your material possessions you might be having a hard time you know giving money spending money um loan you know loaning anything or 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 even you know objects it feels like if someone uses something that is yours or asks you for something that is yours for cancers that feel very very uh tense to share material possessions during this time there might be something to consider about the fact that you're hiding a deep-seated fear here of loss loss of status loss of comfort loss of reputation loss of um, what you have worked for but deep down is loss, a problem with loss. And I feel like you're feeding into an energy that during October can be dangerous because it's almost like a feeling like you're, you're building here, you're, you're going, you're building unconsciously the trap you're going to set your foot in ahead. Meaning that if you're not careful, if there's not a little bit of change of attitude in terms of abundance mindset, you might indeed see some things that you thought you were protecting and preserving actually, again, being lost or just, you know, being changed. So it's almost like the more you hold on to something, materially or emotionally or relationship oriented again the more you hold on in control basis here in a possessive basis to something the worse can be all right especially as you move into november with the death card meaning that possession i'm sorry possessiveness control rigidity will not work at your favor there are times where standing firm and strong and resistant can help and that's going to be your approach with the seven of wands and the nine of wands some of you will not give up something without a fight 
meaning that you will just not accept that something goes or something changes easily. Now, for some of you, you could be fighting again for what you consider to be your rights. So if someone is trying to come in and take things that are yours, again, you might be willing to go to a fight. But I feel that for some, whomever it would be trying to do this, to take you, uh, to take something from you that you feel is your right, um, it feels like this person is in a in a in a position that is has more uh, at their advantage right now than you. So that's why there's uh, an advice for some cancers to be smart, tactful, careful, uh, and especially sensitive in the approach and strategy you apply to things right now, especially again, things that have to deal with finances and work. Like to really put in a place, a strategy that yes, protects you and benefits the, the most possible, but also that doesn't um it doesn't take away from the the picture uh the fact that right now your tools or your case might not be so strong as the other side so it's important that you are uh, that you have in your mind the notion of what's happening on the other side is like by having that knowledge yes you could win something right but if you go into something just with the fighting attitude with the i will not surrender attitude uh, i feel like that would just you know make you suffer more with the death card here because death is an energy that changes things without our control or permission. So um, it's not something we control, it's not something that we can do anything about it, except let it pass. And then let us, let us, uh, let it, uh, I'm sorry, let the circumstance that changed and died and happened transform us. So, Some of you, there's a breach here to get to know a situation that you have been unaware of that perhaps will leave you particularly concerned. For some of you that this will not be di directly about you and the state of um, your own material world it could be of another so you might have a breach and see that the reality of someone else's situation and you might just be concerned uh, especially if you again if, if if it's someone that you feel is doing well financially or or that you know someone that has again is known for business or known to be someone in a good position in life someone you admire professionally could even it could be a boss it could be a colleague it could be you know someone you just admire um they seem to be doing well you might have an awareness during october that they're not doing that well and that might concern you either because it affects you directly for example if it is your boss uh, or if it's your partner, right, or a parent, uh, or, or a child, um, either it affects you directly or, or, or indirectly. The fact is that um, some of you cancers during October will need to, 
is there will there's something here about some of you cancers feeling like uh, your survival instincts are coming out so and them coming out brings a lot of tension to you so again there's an energy that does not feel comfortable at all or something close to home that will push you again into the other side they keep getting the other side so this other side corresponds for some of you corresponds a lot to having to go somewhere way beyond again your comfort zone to learn something then to then come back to your spot and know what you need to do to ensure you're safe and to ensure that you have everything taken care of to ensure that now you have the knowledge you need to apply your um, energy the right way the right the right way being the way where you're going to benefit from it so i hope you have a great month thank you so much for all of you that have been liking sharing subscribing commenting and donating to my channel i really appreciate it thank you so much Hopefully, we'll see each other soon.